So this is Grape House. No matter where I look, everything is plastered with grape patterns. I was already fed—I uh, was already fed up with strawberry patterns, but this is also unpleasant. Welcome. Okay, welcome to Grape House. Now that allow me to explain Grape House. What? Ta! -da, this is Grape House in its entirety. So let's start explaining the first floor. Ahem. Aside from the fact that there's no final dead room, it's basically no difference than Strawberry House. Just like how you see, just like how there's a strawberry house all over there, there's a grape hall on this side. And when you go through grape hall, then means you're at grape tower. Second floor grape house is the same as second floor strawberry house. I prepare five guest rooms of different types along with relaxing lounge. But the main attraction of grape house is obviously the third floor. The Monokuma Archive. Everyone loves the Monokuma Archive. If you want to know about my proud accomplishment and cont uh, contributions, feel free to study that literature there. Now then, this concludes the tour, but I believe it'd be difficult to understand if I just explained the words, so you should use all your own feet to check out the inside of the building. Mm -hmm. That's all from me. Any questions? Like, I'm starting to get hungry. Where's the food already? Huh? huh? Is that necessary? Hey. What are you saying? Of course it is. <laughs> but it's supposed to be an escape game, so there aren't- Oh my fucking god, are you serious? So how can there be any tension if there's no time limit? <laughs> So, I've decided to use your stomachs as a time limit. Don't tell me. What do you mean? Well, simply put, it means kill someone before you start a death. Lies. What the hell? <laughs> if you're planning to kill someone, I highly recommend you make your kill soon. It'll be too late if you get weak so you don't have enough energy to kill. Hey! Hey! Hold on. What? Starve? Damn it! How much more of this do we have to take until he's satisfied? Uh, he was seriously... Uh, he was serious about the being on, uh, the being no food. I don't want that! No way! That's the one thing I don't want. I don't mind starving as long as I can eat. Just let me eat already. Wait, what? That don't make sense. Sheesh! As long as she learned there's no food, she was overcome by hunger. Obsessions are truly annoying. <laughs> but at least try to stay calm. It's not the time for you to panic. Hey. Uh, we're being, uh, well, being loud here isn't gonna help us. So for now, we should explore the inside of the building. Right. After all, if you don't give up, you're sure to find hope. Isn't that right, Fujihiko? Huh? Yeah, that's right. All right. Then let's get started. The same, the same pairing as before. Fine, hey. right? Hold on. This time around, I really want to pair with Miss Sonya. She already left with Gundam. Hmm. Looks like you're being avoided, not just rejected. <laughs> oh wow. Hey. Kazuichi, I understand that you're feeling down, but we better get going. Damn right. Akane, you too. How much longer are you going to stay shocked? Come on, let's go. With heavy steps, everyone left to explore Grape House. Now then, where should we start? Since we're on the first floor, it might be okay if we start with Grape Tower. Hmm, so you're saying you're going to start with the most suspicious place. Alright, then let's start with Grape Tower. Show some spirit! Let's start with Grape Tower! See, I was gonna yell, but then I decided not to, so I just, I just made my voice raspy. Anyways, let's find the exit. Demand, <laughs> demanded. <laughs> Damn it! There's no way I'm gonna let myself starve to death here. Oh well, this one's a little too fucking harsh. I mean, it's killed or be killed. Grape Tower is beyond this door, right? Just like at Strawberry Hall, the only need, we only need to press the button. Show some spirit. All right, leave it to me. Nekamaru raised his voice and vigorously slammed the button more times than needed to. <laughs> hmm, it's not opening. Huh? That's weird. Well, we were at Strawberry Hall. It should open. Don't tell me it's our. F it's out of order. Find time to do it. Break down. I'm sorry. What? Did I just have a stroke? I. What do you say? <laughs> Don't tell me it's out of order. Find time for it to break down. All right. <laughs> I was like, find time to do to what? Kerklunk? Ah, did you hear something? And then when Nekamaru started shouting, the door opened. What? The door opened. But that was the pause just now. Why didn't the door open right away? So this is Grave Tower. Hmm, the structure of the building seemed doesn't seem that different compared to Strawberry Tower. Yeah, you're right. The building's same circular shape, and the ceiling's just high and hard to make out. However, this wall is green. Strawberry Tower's wall is red. Really? I thought it was pink. Anyways... Well, well, speaking of difference, there's something blatantly different over there. Strawberry door. 
on the grave tower door of the hmm I was I'm sorry I like paused for a moment because I was thinking of something I was like what if the elevator didn't move but instead the rooms just like changed by themselves somehow it would make a lot of sense to me personally a strawberry door inside grave tower that sounds complicated and maybe that's why it took forever for fucking grave tower door to open because it was strawberry tower right anyways it's like the opposite of strawberry tower as I recall, there should have been a grape image on the far back door of Strawberry Tower. Hmm. So on the grapes, uh, far fucking goddamn grapes. So on the strawberry side, there's a grape door, and on the grape side, a strawberry door. This even more complicated. <coughs> However, this time, the door might connect to the outside. I see. It's obvious by looking at the map. It's so obvious by looking at the map that I gotta fucking yawn again because I'm tired of shit. Anyways, by looking at the map, since there's nothing beyond the far back door of Grape House, if so, the only thing we can do is try it. Hold it! Stop! Hammer time! Anyways, I heard what you guys were discussing, but it'd be pointless if you try, I think. What'd you say? Before you get there, there's. Uh, why are you here, Cheeky? Weren't you with Nagito and Kazuichi? It's exhausting to be around those two. I knew it! So you came crawling back to me. So you ran away? <laughs> no, it's fine. It's fine, Chiki. Stay here. It's, it's better this way. I, I, I told you I was looking for a replacement waifu, right? Because I knew Mikon would fucking die. Anyways. Hey, waifu number two. Oh, the door doesn't lead outside. I think it's pointless to even try it. Definitely. Definitely, you say. It's rare for Chiki to be that certain... I have a good reason for that. I think I found out the secret of Funhouse structure. Don't tell me you're gonna say what I just said earlier. The secret of the structure? Want me to tell you? Want me to tell you? What, uh, do you want me to explain it to you? We'll pay close attention to each house's relationship if it's... Wait, what? We'll pay attention to each house's relationship to be, uh, respective... To, wait, to its respective tower. Blah, 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 blah. Can't speak. Hey, hey. First, try to remember the first floor of the Strawberry House. From the elevator, Strawberry Hall is on your left hand side, right? And if you walk along it, you'll end up Strawberry Tower. And the other hand, right hand side, and you're. Oh, so what? You're just. Are you. What are you getting at here? Are you just gonna tell me that the doors connect to different places? If you, uh, if you walk alongside, you'll end up Grape Tower, right? Okay. Now here comes the main point with those two buildings. Ah, so you're here all along. Hey, 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 Jakey, don't go running off on your own. You disappeared so suddenly I was worried about you. Kazuichi, Nagito. You. Thanks to your disappearance, I was left alone with Nagito. Man. Uh, was that annoying for you? Right. Hell yeah, it was. I don't want to be alone with a creep like you. I see, so it's not just Hajime. You don't trust me either, huh, Kazuichi? Hey, hey are you okay? Have you stopped trusting others, humans? Shut up, shut up. Well, yeah, thanks to you, bastard. Oh, now everybody's here. Huh? Huh? You all came? Good timing. We didn't have time to waste. Uh, any we didn't have time to waste any time. To do Wait, what? We didn't have to waste any time gathering people. That was quick. I thought your investigations would took more time. Oh, yeah. Uh, there aren't many areas to search, and we didn't find any clues. Right now, the only thing I found is there's seriously no food anywhere. Ain't funny at all. Damn it! I heard as a super painful, uh, that it's super painful to die from starvation. Before that happens, why don't you, you know, the hamsters that Gundam carries around? You ain't the soul. What are you implying? Ah, I'm sorry. That was close. Kazuichi, you should be grateful to Sonya. If you got in your hands on my four dark days of destruction, your body would be incinerated by hellfire. Hey, hey. But are the hamsters going to be okay without food? Fortunately, flowers blooming in Strawberry House Indoor Park are cursed flowers from Hell Garden. What the fuck? As long as those seeds are there, the four dark days of destruction shall not lose a single hit point. I'm relieved to hear that. Wait, are we having like a little love triangle going on now? Fucking Kazuichi likes Sonya, Sonya likes Gundam, Gundam don't give a fuck. Anyways, now then, let's listen to your reports and see what you have to say. Personally, I'd rather let Chiki continue her talk, but oh well, I should listen to what everyone has to say. 
Is it fine if Gundam, Fuhiko, and I represent our team and give the reports? Right. Yeah, I don't mind. <laughs> mm, a joyous mongrels, I discovered something that you fiends will be happy to hear about. Yes, our team's discovery is number one. We shall not lose. I think her priorities are off slightly. Okay, then say what you gotta say, Gundam. <laughs> now then, I shall present you with my discovery. I will let you say such nonsense like I forget Monokuma said it himself before we arrived here. He said that there are ship parts in the funhouse. Could it be? <laughs> Kazuichi and you lowly humans, fall to your knees and show your gratitude to me, the overlord of ice of the destroyed world of death. Feast your eyes on this. <laughs> ah, behold, a motor! This is a ship part. Based on extremely small size, isn't it? Hmm. It's just a radio controlled toy! Allow me to tell you a little old story. I was born as a result of a union between a human and a demon, and my existence was shunned by both races. Perhaps it's because nobody has ever brought me a toy before, but I believe this is truly remarkable. Shut up! Shut up! I'm not asking you about that! You mean the ship part of yours was just some radio controlled toy? Loser! Uh, you totally got tricked! I never said a single word about a ship being real, stupid idiots, moron, bakadesu. Looks like we don't even have the strength to get upset. Mm. It might be better if we leave him alone for a while. So, it was definitely a waste of time to believe Monokuma. If so, what he said about our student profiles might be a lie too. But our situation is getting so grim that I can't really focus on that right now. Alright, anyways, Chiki, what the fuck were you saying? Personally, I'd rather let Chiaki continue her talk, but, but everyone's reports are important too. I should get... Huh? Oh, okay. No, I gotta talk to Nagito and uh, Fuyuhiko, right? Now then. Allow me to give you a brief report. Since I'm the one who made this discovery, it's just as important as I am. Which means it's not that important at all. Just hurry up and say it already. Well, it's about the third floor grape house. See? Do you remember what Monokuma said about Monokuma Archive on the third floor? I actually tried to go there. Jeez. Like the name suggests, it was an archive full of stuff about Monokuma. It reminds me of all those celebrities who built their own memorial house in their hometown. Hmm. Then it looks like we don't ever need to go in there. Ever. Actually. Uh, also I found a lost child at Monokuma's archive. A lost child? What? Huh? Where'd you go? Hey! Hey! Don't just hide, come on out! <laughs> <sighs> Manomi? So this lost child was you. Right? That's how people react, right? Well, I had a general idea of how you all would re uh, react. It's okay, I won't be depressed anymore. I'm used to being treated so poorly. How sad. So sad to get used to it. She seems a little tense. Uh, did Monokuma bring you here as well, Monomi? Yeah, I'm so ashamed of myself for getting carelessly tripped by him. I'm a failure as a teacher. I have no right to guide anyone. Nobody considers you a teacher to begin with. But I'm honestly happy that you're here. Huh? Hey, are you completely stuffed? Are you a complete stuffed animal? Is there any part of you left that's still rabbit meat? No! I, uh, I'm expected to be food? Okay, whatever. Fihiko, what's your Damn right. discovery? I'm sure the others already know, but let me tell you just in case. The second floor of the grave house also has guest rooms similar to the ones of the second floor of strawberry house. Hmm. But instead of being covered with strawberry patterns, they're covered with grape patterns. Also, also like the guest room, there's a similar lounge here, and there's also a phone in the lounge too. However, instead of a grape button, there's only a phone in the strawberry house phone button. The strawberry button on the phone in the grape house lounge. Now then. Now, I'm just guessing at this point, but it's possible that we can use those two phones to communicate with each other. For sure. So the picture on the button shows. Uh, fuck. <coughs> The picture on the button shows where each phone connects to. The picture on the button shows where each phone connects to. And that's probably it. Hey, hey. Uh, that was the last report, right? Then it's okay if I go now? That's what you mentioned earlier, right? About the structure of, uh, Funhouse? Let me ask. Uh, the structure of the Funhouse? Well? Well, I'm... Oh, uh, fuck. I I'm, like, so tired that words don't fucking mean anything to me anymore. Anyways... Well, I come to a conclusion. The grave tower that we're in currently and the strawberry tower we were in earlier 
I think they're actually the same building. I'm speechless. <laughs> I, I was on the nose when I said that shit. I was like, aren't they the same building? Wouldn't it make sense if the elevator didn't move and just the exterior... Not exterior, my bad. The interior just got changed. The two towers are the same building, would you say? I see. What makes you think that? Their positions. Well. Inside strawberry... Oh, wait. Hold up. Maybe... Maybe mine's a little bit too extreme. Uh, maybe she's just saying that the door in Strawberry Tower and the door in Grape Tower are connected. Well, not connected. Are like the same door, basically. Anyways, uh, inside Strawberry House, hall on your left. Went back facing the elevator right. Um. But inside Grape House, the hall on your right is when you back is facing the elevator right. Wait, what? I'm sorry? Strawberry House, when you're left. When your back is wait what? Hall is on your left when your back is facing the elevator, but inside Grape House, it's on your right when your back is at. Okay, yeah. And so if we think about it, it just puts those two together. Hmm. The other towers are the same building, and each house connects to the center. That the building structure that comes to mind. All right, well that's cool. What Strawberry Tower and Grape Tower are the same building? But I might, it might be possible. Come on, take a look at the door. Isn't that strawberry image the same on the elevator and telephone? This is the same way. Wouldn't that image on the door also be showing where it leads to? I see. Ah, if that's the case, it would mean that strawberry house is beyond the door when the strawberry image is on it. Hmm. Mm -hmm. And well, as the opposite, the grape door that was at the strawberry tower would lead to grape house. Meaning we opened the grave door and we came here. So... Meaning, depending on which door we use, this tower changes to either Strawberry Tower or Grape Tower. Perhaps... Which means when you look at the other side of the Grape Hall door that we used to come in here... Yep. Yep, the Grape pictures should be actually... Wait. <clears throat> yep, the Grape pictures should actually be on there. Then all we gotta do is confirm it, right? If we close the door from the other side, it might be possible. Huh? Impossible? Why? Well, Hajime and Nakamura were the first ones to enter Grape Tower, right? What's wrong with that? When you two enter Grape Tower and Grape Hall, didn't it uh, take a little while for the door to open once you press the button? Huh? So, I just, uh, it's just as I assumed. How would you know that? When I was walking around by myself, I went back to Strawberry House for a while. I felt like there was still something I miss I missed and oh fuck, whatever. The strawberry hall was automatically closed in front of me. The door automatically closed. And afterwards, no matter how much I pressed the button, the strawberry hall door wouldn't open. But why? The door to Strawberry Tower and Grave Tower must be designed to be only one way uh, only one can open at a time. See? I mean, if both doors open at the same time, we easily find out both towers are the same building. If that happens, it would be—it wouldn't be a fun house anymore, right? Mm. Then the reason the strawberry door automatically closed in front of you was it because we opened the grape hall door? When that happened, the grape hall door didn't open because it was waiting for strawberry hall door to close. If you think about it, that means it makes sense, right? Like, like you're saying all this hard stuff, I don't get. But aren't you forgetting the most basic problem? The door of the walls in Strawberry Tower and Grape are different, you know? There's no way they'd be the same building. No. You don't notice, they're just lights on the floor being shined on the wall. By reflecting color light onto the white wall, it makes it look like white color. Uh, the wall color has been changed. Then, what about the picture on the floor? What about the picture on the floor? Is that different too? Mm. Maybe the floor is just screen and the picture is being projected from beneath the floor. In fact, when you look at it closely, it's not a picture that was actually drawn on the floor. Oh, I see. It's safe to say that they're the same building, right? But this is a very important problem, so isn't it better if we test it out? Test? For example, we should leave someone behind here and we'll all go to Strawberry Tower. And if it's still there, we can conclude that they're the same building. See. Wait, you want me to stay? No, that's impossible. There's a sensor preventing that. Huh? Huh? Sensors? 
Don't you feel it? There's countless sensors plastered all over the tower walls and floors. Why can't you notice them? It's more surprised that you actually notice them. I guess is my sense. I guess is that sensors can probably detect any movement within the tower. And then it reacts to prevent the door from opening. I knew there'd be at least something like that. By the way, how good is that sensor performance? It's quite high performance. It seems that it can even detect your heartbeats and breathing patterns. Then be it, it will become completely impossible for someone to stay behind. Hey! What about Nakamaru? He's heartless, robot. I have a motor running inside me. It's as good as any human heart. But if you're in sleep mode, the functions will come to stop too, right? Jeez. Like that, you, uh, like you said, if a case all functions with sleep mode, the sensors would detect it, right? Wait, what? Like you said, if I cease all functions with sleep mode, the sensors wouldn't detect it. But don't you need to go that far to test it? I won't tolerate any robo per prejudice. Sorry, you're right. And once I enter sleep mode, I will not regain consciousness until the good night switch is pressed again or if my chest alarm goes off. <laughs> I'm a little concerned about being left alone in that state. Excellent, it's too far dang it's too far dangerous. It's too uh, it's fuck, I can't read. It's far too dangerous. Even if it's an experiment, it's possible that we might violate the laws of robotics. Hey. Then why do we need uh shit? Then why don't we just use this? My student ebook. I'll leave this ebook here and well We'll all move over to Strawberry Tower, and if by chance the ebook is still here, then we can safely assume that two towers are the same. You're right, let's try it. We left behind Chiki's ebook right away. Then we left Grape Tower and made our way to Strawberry Tower. Time to go to Strawberry Tower. I fucking forgot Monami was still here. I see, I see. I must say this elevator is quite quiet. It's like that toast. Uh, it's like that. To uh, fuck. It's like that toad wart. Or wait, never mind. Toad's wart? What's she talking about? It doesn't feel like we're moving extremely fast. It seems like it's moving very slowly. If so, the two houses might be surprisingly close. If two towers are connected in the middle of the distance between, they should be that much. Wait, what? I'm sorry. I'm just really tired. I'm really tired. I even feel it in my voice. My voice is getting strained. Anyways. Alright, let's head over to Strawberry Tower. Alright, Strawberry Tower is this way. Oh, hey Gundam, what's up? If you press the button next to the door, you should be able to enter the Strawberry Tower. Then press it. Wait, step aside, you fiends. Wait, what? Emissaries of evil, I accordant wait, in accordance with our ancient contract, the time has come to lend your aid. Pierce through, Supernova, Silver Fox, Sun D. The hamster just clicked the button. And it pressed the button? <laughs> Truly, this is the Skyline Lamentation Art of the Demon Mouse. What? Soon, the door of destiny shall open. Wow, amazing, your hamsters are truly skilled. I see your eyes managed to follow Sandy's movements, as expected of la a dark lady you have my praise. What the fuck? What kind of weird sexual thing you guys go have going on now? Amazing! Amazing, truly amazing. You must have strong, trusting relationship with them. Thank you. Huh? Uh, you didn't even you didn't need to bother making your hamster press it. Hmm. Mm, just as a thought, it takes a while to open. Considering what we discussed earlier, the sensor will confirm that nothing is moving inside the tower and wait for the other door to open. At the moment, I heard a loud sound from the other side of the door. Uh, hey, look! My! Ah, oh, look over there. The movement we said, f uh... The moment we set foot inside Strawberry Tower, Sonya raised her voice. When I looked, there was, uh, where she was pointing. Is there. The e-book. Pick it up. Ah. Yeah, there's no doubt. This is my student e-book. If the handbook Chiki left in the Grape Tower is here, then that means... It seems that we've confirmed it. Good job. Strawberry Tower and Grape Tower are actually the same building. And depending on whether you enter the Strawberry Hall or Grape Hall, the tower, whatever, becomes either Strawberry Tower or Grape Tower. Cool. Huh? Then the door over there with the grape image on it. I see. It's not the exit, but appears to connect to the Grape uh, House's Hall or whatever the fuck. It's troubling. 
but it also means that we have no idea where the exit is. Well, I guess it can't be helped. There's no way we actually find the exit that easily. Anyways, I'm surprised I can't believe you already uncovered the secret like this. As expected of Chiaki, you truly are amazing. Normally, all you do is stare into space, but at times like this, you really pull, thi uh, really pull things together or whatever the fuck. However... However, why was the building designed so strangely? So evil. There's probably no reason. It's simply because it's a fun house. That's all the reason Monokuma needs. Uh, who are you again? I'm an Omi! What? Did you forget about me? <clears throat> that reminds me. Whatever happened to Monokuma's announcement? Huh? What do you mean? According to my internal clock, it's already past 10 p.m. Oh my. Huh? Is it that time already? Despite that, why hasn't it been a Monokuma announcement? Monokuma! Allow me to answer. Every single day up till now, I have consistently let you know when it's morning and night on this island. And thanks to that, you've been able to live a normal life. Did you guys mistake me for some kind of pretty alarm clock? Oh well, it's totally true that I'm pretty butt. Oh, what are you trying to say? For the time being, the Monokuma announcements are on hiatus. You can't go outside and there's no windows here, so it's not like it matters if it's morning or night. Also, I've been thinking a little... I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Just, my throat hurts. Anyways, also I've been thinking of a little something to replace the Monokuma announcement. I don't like this. What's wrong with him? Well, it's no announcement. We can just look ahead. Uh, look ahead? We can just look at the clock. Um. Both Strawberry House and Grape House have clocks in their first floor lounge. <laughs> Even if I don't look at a clock, I have my internal clock, so it's no problem for me anyways. And it's already past 10 p.m., right? I'm starting to feel very sleepy. The moment she said that, like, I felt a yawn coming, and I, I forcefully stopped it. Anyways, I feel sleepy after hearing that. Since we don't have food, it might be better if we rest and conserve our energy. For now, let us decide our room arrangements. Not arrangements, assignments. Each house has five guest rooms, so we should first decide who's going to stay in which house. Hmm, why don't we make things simple and split them between the boys and the girls? Yes, let's do that. Uh, that's a bummer. Well, I guess it makes sense. Then ladies first. Now that... I'm sorry. I thought he was going to, like, uh, have a voice line. Now then, kittens, choose which house you would like. Uh, let's go with Grape House. Staring at red rooms is going to start straining my eyes. Then the men shall have Strawberry House. Strawberry men are known for passion. What? Hey. Also, each house has guest rooms of various qualities, right? Damn right. Wasn't it two deluxe rooms, a standard room, and two crummy rooms? And we need to decide those next, huh? But there's only five rooms in each house, right? Then one guy will be left over. Then that means there's only... Uh... <clears throat> then that means there's only one appropriate way to settle this. Rock, paper, scissors? Rock, paper, scissors? Did I, really, did I really just say that? Anyways, rock, paper, scissors? <laughs> Damn it! <laughs> I didn't... Come on, man, let's play junk and junk on all. Suddenly, the rock paper sister battle. Rock paper sister. Rock paper scissors battle between six guys had begun, and the results. I got a crummy room, didn't I? <laughs> Sorry, I ended up winning so easily. Hey, the ultimate lucky student. <laughs> Go fuck yourself. That's right. I totally forgot Nagito's ultimate lucky student. <laughs> so I take second plate. That's fine. I was getting bored of always being on top. It's decided. You two will have deluxe rooms now. Then, regarding the third winner. It's me! I'll be resting in the standard room. Damn right! Me and Kazuchi are... Uh, Kazuchi. See, I'm calling him Kazuchi again. Damn it. Me and Kazuchi are next. Ah, uh, so I get a crummy room. Well, it's better than a rooming with someone. Really? Really, Kazuchi? We're gonna be this fucking petty? <laughs> That's unfortunate, Hazume. You can rest in the lounge, but try not to catch cold. Hey. Hey. How about you, Grape House, uh, Grape House girls? Did you all pick your rooms? Yep, we did. We had a brief discussion and settled things smoothly. So I and I will have deluxe rooms, and apparently Akane wants one of the crummy rooms. Huh? Why'd you choose a crummy room? There's still standard room left. Like that. It's good enough for me. You guys might think it's pretty crappy, but it's a place, but it's, but it's a palace compared to my home. But this is a standard room, and a crummy room's left. Hajime, would you like to wait? If you would like, please use one of them. Huh? Huh? Hey, hey, hey! You can't do that. Yeah, I can. Fuck you, Kazuichi. Oh my! Why not? Well. I mean, it's dangerous. Hajime might be the traitor, you know. 
Kazuichi, what the fuck? What makes me different from Nagito? What makes me different from fucking one of the girls? What makes me different from you? Um. What are you saying? Miss Sonia? What, what am I, huh? So... We haven't doubted Hajime at all. Thank you. Like... Even if I don't think he, uh, even I don't think he'd trick us. <laughs> it seems that you're the only ones who thought Hajime is suspicious. Really? Of all people, you're gonna say that? You're really gonna say that? Right? Hajime, you can use one of the leftover rooms. Hey, fuck you guys. I'm sleeping with the girls. What's up? Anyways, I feel bad about using the standard room, so I'll stay in the crummy room. But even so, it really helps that I have a place to sleep. Now that it's decided, we should turn in for today. It's like it doesn't make any sense. Fuck you, Kazuichi. And so, all the guys except for me ended up staying in the night on the second floor of the strawberry house. And all the girls plus me, ayyyy! Anyways, plus me leftover, plus my leftover self, <laughs> stayed on the second floor of the grape house. Damn right. Fuck you, Usumi. I mean, mono me. Jeez, just as I thought I was forgotten. Well, I'm used to it after all. <laughs> what? Why are you laughing? So this is the second floor of Grape House. Choosing Grape House was definitely a good decision. Hmm, what do you mean? You see, Strawberry House is a quadrilateral. What the fuck? It's a quadrilateral, but Grape House is hexagonal. <laughs> and it means this place is far more spacious. It's quite a good bargain. For a princess, you sure know a lot about pretty petty stuff. Ah. Yeah, so sleepy. The deluxe rooms are too- uh, fuck. I'm so- you're sleepy? I'm tired and my voice is getting strained because I'm not used to talking a lot. Anyways, the deluxe rooms are two rooms that are far back, right? It's okay if we go there already. The two rooms at the front are cra or crappy. Are crappy rooms, right Hajime? You use the room next to the lounge. So the standard room across the hard lounge will remain unoccupied. Easy as pie. I shall prepare name plates for our rooms later. I shall also include portraits of everyone's face. You don't really need to draw our face, but name plates might be a good idea. Then good night. After reaching the limits of her sleepiness, Chiaki st staggered over to her deluxe room. Now then, I shall retire in the evening as well. Good night, everyone. Good night. See you tomorrow. After exchange. You know what just hit me? What literally just hit me? <laughs> we lost three girls in one trial. Every fucking trial we had has been it's either all the girls die or all the boys die. There's never been like a difference. What the fuck? <laughs> it makes no sense to me. Anyways, we lost three girls. What the fuck? Anyways, after exchanging good nights, everyone went to their guest rooms. I should get some sleep too. Uh, I think I was assigned to crummy room next to the lounge. Well, that means there's one right here, right? Wait, what do you mean next to the lounge? Oh, next to the lounge. Oh, so this one. I thought I was like standing in the lounge already. I got a green room. Eh, it's fine. This is surprisingly shabby guest room. It's a little cold in here. The draft comes from the door and it's making me hungry. But I shouldn't be talking about... Uh, hmm. But I shouldn't be talking like that. For now, I need to endure it no matter what. No matter what happens, I'll definitely prevent killings from happening. I won't let Mono Monomi. <laughs> I won't let Monokuma get what he wants. I don't want to do the Monokuma theater. He's speaking in Morse code. Like, I, I had to stare at it for a while. I'm like, what the fuck is this? It's Morse code. To tell you the truth, I'm out of ideas. <laughs> this concludes Monokuma's Theater Morse Code Edition. Yep. Morse Code. It's morning already? Now then, I just know there are no Monokuma announcements. I don't feel like usual self anymore. There should be a clock in the lounge. I should head over and see what time it is. I assume it's impossible for us to have free time. Anyways, um, what button? This is the button that we use to save. Thank you. 